Hurricane and flash flood updates for September 27th, 2025. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Pew and I have some good news and some bad news. The good news, ironically, is that Hurricane Humberto did some rapid intensification and went from a category one into a category four with 145 mile per hour sustained winds. And now it's good news because we know that Hurricane Humberto is not really gonna hit anywhere, though Bermuda, we'll have to watch for that. But the reason why it's good news that it's strengthened is because it's gonna have a stronger influence in the tropical disturbance that we've been looking at, which we'll just call nine. So nine is probably gonna be a tropical depression by tonight and we've been looking at her because her projected path for the last two days have been towards the Carolinas now except for today recent models are in agreement that nine is going to start drifting eastward right before the coast of South Carolina now it sounds good at first but it's actually a problem because it needs to drift to the east sooner because it's so close to the east coast it's going to kind of stall and produce all that torrential rainfall for South Carolina and North Carolina and the other bad news is that most models are suggesting that she's going to be a category one now and in addition to all this the sea surface temperature around this area are really hot around 84 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit so even if 9 does end up stalling around this area she's gonna have enough fuel to keep sustaining herself and like I said yesterday we still have that trough in the southeast one it's bringing in a lot of mid-level moisture and bringing a lot of rain into this area already but two it's also helped navigating 9 into the South Carolina area now this mid-level trough is gonna dissipate over time but if we look at 300 millibars or in the upper troposphere we do have a trough that's gonna linger in the southeast and this is gonna be significant because while right now it's 89 to get Get closer to the South Carolina area with the southerly flow. As Humberto gets closer, it's going to broaden and deepen the trough. And so the base of the trough is probably going to be around the Humberto area. And with that, because we have counterclockwise flow, we're going to have westerly flow going away from the states and which is pulling nine away from the South Carolina area. So the dream scenario that we're all hoping for is that we want Humberto to really steer that shear away from the South Carolina area sooner. And despite all of this, we do have a lot of flash flooding in the Southeast and in the West Coast. So for the West Coast at 500 millibars or midway the troposphere, we still have that lingering low pressure system that's recycling a lot of mid-level moisture in these areas. And so from Southern California to New Mexico, we can expect monsoonal conditions this afternoon and evening. And then for the Southeast, we still have a low pressure and a lingering stationary front that's pretty much going to be here all weekend, producing a lot of consistent lifts and a lot of rain. So if you're in the Carolinas, definitely expect a lot of rain, but also prepare yourself if nine ends up stalling, expect a lot of rain pretty much throughout next week.